Hello and welcome back. This is Saiken and we're continuing Phoenix Point. We're being overrun. Uh, that is the name of the game at the moment. Panorans are coming left, right, middle, center, front, up, down, everywhere. Uh, today we're having a particular mission with attacking strength 20, defending strength 1. Which I imagine coming in and fighting only... Um, uh, the hardest of the hard enemies we have extreme threat levels so when we're now sending in our eight young and motivated warriors this might be a bit of a difficult mission little green leads the mission and ascenders Uh, gets his pistol back, which is definitely needed. We do have Tyler Triggerfinger, uh, who is well equipped. We get Natalia, who does have a laser pistol. We got one Neuralizer. And little green has a neuralizer so that's already two neuralizers and before we do that let me just double check manticore three kalkini had the sinidran pistol by the way there is i can already see there is a quote-unquote little abuse where you can just shift all of the equipment in between uh teams i won't be doing uh that we pretty much have yeah, dedicated equipment. I think it's just a bit more believable. Good, so we got a melee neuralizer here. And to be entirely honest, yet again, I hate to do that, but this is a matter of who's taking priority. And as much as I like team number three, and they also should become better and better over time. Yeah, we need all of the firepower that we could get in Fury. The Fury 2 launchers are great. That is exactly what I was looking for. Tyler Triggerfinger. Um, let's reduce the overwatch cost for him by one, which is huge because he can overwatch with the bulldog for one. Hmm, not sure if I like that one. Many want to get their second class, so I... Uh, will not skill too many uh, things. Uh, we do have th uh, a neuralizer uh, pistol and two, basically two melee weapons. Uh, two two neural uh, neuralizers uh, that could help us to to capture some of the aliens. Roth takes the Amphian body armor. You can get some accuracy, it's not too bad. Decent perception, low weight, actually quite good armor.
and Kitsu the technician still has the golem armor just so that they are better protected I suppose yeah lots of healing here I guess that's fine let's just see what awaits us in this mission all right we landed let's take a good look oh we already got these nasty artilleries maybe we need to kill them right off the bat I was born ready We've got incoming. Two of them. Oh. Right. I mean, they talked about 20 enemy strength. I wasn't sure what exactly that means. Now I know. Yeah. It means they brought the entire hive. Good, where's the second berserker? And um, right over here. Reporting Moves up. Contact. We can, by the way, see an assault up here. Okay, cool. I have to wonder, yeah, before we're moving out of uh, uh, yeah. the way, let's see what we can hit. Thumb relax. Not Going really in. what I was going for. Acquiring targets. Out of curiosity, would we always hit that? Nearly always. And we're looking at one thing. 50% more damage, so let's try this. Me see. Ready. I was born ready. Here goes. Flying up with little green. Here comes the Phoenix. All right, moving up. Let's do this. Low cover and wow, we got a Skrilla even on top of it. Plenty of enemies. Unfortunately, can't really shoot more than what we've already done. Acquiring targets. Wait, moving to coordinates. Perfect, so one bombing is already gone. Receiving. Which means we have one more to deal with. Hmm. 
moves over here. <clears throat> and we're hitting that second abdominum. I think we can't kill the second artillery, not yet. It's a matter of sometimes you just gotta take some damage, I suppose. I'm here. You already took the armor off, Overwatch. so that was good. Anders moves and little green moves as well. Come on, you just need to hit the top. The Skrilla nicely enrages everyone. Unfortunately this guy will still shoot and he will potentially shoot for us back here. Stupid artillery. Super strong. And we even took one, a defecto took one out, but the other, the second one just got us. Steel on target. Right. Yeah, he's just running in, trying to deal some melee damage. Alright, one of the defenders already down. of interest that abdomen is gone that hurt, didn't it? out of further interest he's almost dead okay let's get this done Good. Well, I already knew we would be taking a lot of damage. Unfortunately, Natalia you. took so much that her arm is difference. gone, which means no more sniping, but we do have five by five. a lot of pistol shots still left over, so it's not the end of the world. Receiving. Yeah, before we go over there. Ah! 
One, two, three, and four back. Twenty. Okay, so this guy is effectively down. Now we do have a problem here with a the Skrilla. There's no denying that. I'm on my way. Jim fully moves over. We have enough for one armor breaking shot. I've got to focus. Which will hopefully be the torso. Yeah, or maybe we're just missing. Oh, very unfortunate. Ready to roll. Proceeding. Look, we need armor penetration elsewise. This guy is not going to go down, right? I'm here. Right. Um I'm going. And the only available armor penetration that we currently have is our sniper um with a gun. Eight isn't great. Eight isn't anything to write home about, but eight is better than nil. And ascenders, once the Skrilla comes in. We'll be able to take care of him. We got Warcry over here. Receiving. We got... Where's my second Warcry? Right here. Preparing to fire. Good. What are the other options? Yeah, just killing the Mindbreaker, I think, is the better idea. Okay, didn't hit it. Getting a second angle. Yeah, let's just start removing more armor. 16 is a start. I mean, it's I'm here. as much as we get for now. Ready to roll. Right, end of turn. Good. Now's the right time to fully unload on him. And of course to kill a mind fragger if possible. If it's not if it's not possible then so be it. This guy is currently just an annoyance. Nothing more. But yeah, the Skrilla is the real problem.
And these guys, by the way, deal a lot of damage. I fully underestimated just how hardcore they are. Uh, they are. So that's one option. Can we hit him from here? Oh yes, we can. Good. War cry. The reason why I'm saying that is because here we go. Number one, minus twenty armor, right? Number two. Let's do this. Cool, that even takes away the stupid mist. That is helpful. Good, I had to do that. I had to do that. Let's blast them. Oh, yeah. Ha! I think I want the torso to be cleared as well for multiple reasons, but mainly because it's such a uh, such a often attacked zone. Lining up a shot. Three hundred sixty. I love it. Eh, I think with our poor aim, this is still better. We get this down. He will wish that he never tried to invade this city here. Without armor, the sky goes down very, very quickly. Unfortunately, we're ready. running out of I'm ready. of actions. A little bit further into cover. Got you. Not quite down. We invested all we had, and it was good. Really made some progress. But the guy is still alive, unfortunately. Not a kill. Oh. 
Now he runs back. Potentially trying to flee, which is fine by me. Did he just say fuck you? <laughs> it sounded like you came in. Fuck you. And then wildly played and detect uh, that terminal. <laughs> that would be funny. Okay, we're a bit we're a bit at a crossroad here. The reason why I'm saying this is we could either try to get that Skrilla down, make it a make it a nice little fight, or we're just leaving it as is, ha! letting it run away like the sorry bitch it is. Skrilla saved this guy, unbelievable. Attempting to acquire target. It's hard to shoot like this. Hope I don't miss. We still got the guy, I would call him the fuck you guy, there. Taking aim. Almost there. Moving up. <sighs> Hitting everyone with a nice little uh, shout. And we're moving up. Okay, cool. Five by five. On the move. Tyler moves over. Identifying target. Hits the Triton there. Triton there very nicely. Tell you what, we're still not done with you, big boy. Target aiming. Steel on target. Switching. Overwatch, and we got another Overwatch here. to get out of this map. I don't want to let him get out of the map though.
Fantastic. The big guy finally bleeds. And by bleed, uh, bleeds, I mean he like bleeds a lot. Trying to reposition. Can't really hit him with another shout. Now that our other shout is all the way back here, you know, can't can't hit him. By now the Skrilla is so far away. Steel on target. Target hit. Might be able to just to, like this. to just paralyze this guy. I'm trying to be greedy, but he actually looks like we can uh, could paralyze him. More damage. We're carefully moving back. On the other hand, Tyler is moving over. Attempting Overwatch. Reloading. Uh, look, we're reloading. Get him next time. Might be able to run off. Yeah, he really got off. What Fury rating. that he could flee. Whatever happens, I mustn't flee. On him. Good, moving over. And we have no valid targets for our war stream, which is unfortunate. Our Sinadrin colleague moves up. Who does have the melee attack paralyzers? Did we have them? No, no. Very good. Jim has them. position ourselves up here I'm going I think there was still a mind flare somewhere what's our move what's the plan five by five all set go we got the second one up here okay this guy is bleeding so he won't have an unlimited amount of time He's now officially paralyzed. 
On the move. Enemy contact. All right, one. Advancing. Two. Three. Four. Five by five. Don't think that that would be close enough. I'm going. Moving down, and there you go. That should be it. Always trying to capture one or two, just to get those extra resources. The whole uh, fight did not start very easy. I actually thought that we would take maybe so much damage that we would need to retreat. But given that it was a strength 20 army, we actually managed quite well. It was a Skrilla, two of those massive uh, mm, catapults. I think the Skrilla happens whenever you reach like strength 15. And we got another colony oh, up there. <laughs> Funny. It is quite close, so we might be able to just fly over. All the secondary team that has defended here might go in. Are they well enough? Generally speaking, yes. And I think I want another heavy. War Scream is great. But it's also Inspire. We do have um, rifles if we pre uh, prefer that. It's maybe the uh, preferred choice although I mean we do have adrenaline rush uh, that could work very well so I think the berserkers will start to shine now with the heavies I like inspire I definitely like ignore pain super strong abilities I very much like adrenaline rush haven't really seen rage burst being incredibly helpful yet but uh, that I might be wrong and Brawler is good for extra melee damage, so definitely good. And I tell you what, we're actually taking course and moving up there. Triton research complete. Mounted laser weapons. I think we're starting with that. Asset weapons are also good. Let's get the stuff out of the way that really takes just a few hours. But advanced laser technology sounds like something that I would like to research. Capture a Pandorian uh, with psychic abilities. Dude, I captured quite a few of them. Or wait, may maybe not. Maybe I didn't. Maybe. Maybe. The siren. Oh yeah, it was one of uh, those heavily armored sirens. Well, too bad. In which case, I suppose we need to redo that whole thing. Yeah, 
have a Triton, I mean 60, I don't know if that's a lot or not, but we're getting quite a bit of value out of uh, all of them. Great, um, two for twelve, yes, I'll take that, we don't need food, we have enough. Yeah, unfortunately I potentially need to get those guys rested up. We're not starting the mission yet. In terms of personal, we have six people in Born in the USA. Master Marksman, oh yeah, definitely. Okay, so we have, oh wow, everybody is just getting more and more experienced. Bloodlust, funnily enough, is one of the things that uh, so far I don't even want them to be damaged in the first place. Although more damage here can be helpful, I much rather would like to wait for a second class so born in the usa whom whom do we take we got a couple of snipers right bastard for instance guy iron good so that's two snipers great then we got jessica rabbit jones and Ankit, the doubter. I think we'll take Ankit for now. Then we do have an assault. One priest. And Sam at the moment is still uh, not really at a high level so instead of having her as a dedicated healer we either can take an infiltrator or we'll take another sniper and I think we'll, we'll go for the infiltrator uh, I think we'll go for the infiltrator so now in terms of your equipment I get it most of the stuff here isn't super hot. But believe it or not, Bastard almost has a full uh, Banshee armor. Let's manufacture one, two, three, four. Take some extra pistol ammunition. Yeah, I think that's okay. That's the absolute base equipment, right? But it works. Sharpshooters seem to be okay with that. Guy Aaron uh, has the full swamp look. Not great, but okay. Has a good pistol. Let's take a bit of extra ammunition. Good. And get the doubter. Uh, giving him an extra grenade. And we're good to go. 
Isabella, Penguin Sosa. Phoenix Assault Body Armor. So this is for the Assault class, so might as well give that to her. It was spare. Give her a second med kit. I don't know if she needs a grenade. But a shotgun wouldn't be too bad. Do we have one lying around? Hmm. Tell you what, I'm thinking who could have a shotgun? Yeah, she needs one, so never mind. No, we're good. No, we're good. We don't have a matter of fact, we don't have a shotgun lying around. That is unfortunate. I I thought that a shotgun would be a good complementary thing. Take a grenade and let's hope that that works. Carlos is practically being a healer. We do have instilled frenzy, that's very important. And we got Goofy Gobber here with a really shite helmet. Um, so those spider drones might be able to scout for us, I guess. We do have handguns as well, and maybe we're just better off with another handgun. Handguns and PDWs. Nurgle's Wrath. That's an okay handgun. Not great though. And we got that independent uh, handgun. Now that's really a bad weapon. I'm not sure if those drones are carrying their weight. Okay, but be it as it may, just double checking, has everybody used all of their points? Accuracy minus 10% damage, that isn't bad. Bombardier is good, Sniper is this good as well. Wonder if we want to do that. Accuracy in the midfield is really helpful, but stats equally are helpful. I think we'll go for stats first. Okay, and I can see we can mutate now, which is something that I really want to do. So, let's take someone from T uh, Tiamat, which is our second team. We got Ender Sanders here, uh, who is a melee character. Currently has a sniper helmet with extra accuracy and 20 armor legs. So let's see, we got an armored hat, 30 armor, accuracy goes down, day's immunity, that's cool, uh, that could work well with berserkers together, so say if we go for adrenaline rush, it'll help us uh, just to continue going 
completely crazy without being dazed next turn. Like the idea. Uh, not sure what I will do with Enders yet, but that is good. The other one is a 15 armor, 10 accuracy. It's a little bit better than the one that we're wearing, but not majorly. And I wonder if I want to waste um, points for it. Just generally seeing, I think we can mutate a lot with 2000. So then we do have three heads. Um, Radiant Hope, Living Allies recover two will points at the start of turn. Uh, for how long? Once? Okay, well, we got Instill Frenzy, which is great. Uh, that's the one that we want. And just double checking. Ain here does have already Instill Frenzy. So we have the right head. Good. And then the third one is the Psychic Scream. Yeah, that's the uh, one that... Uh, mm, that uh, inappropriate Murphy currently has. And the Judgment Head ironically also has more armor. So the first thing that I would want to do is, before we do anything else, inappropriate Murphy, mutate, Judgment Head so that he has instilled Frenzy. Cost 200, but now he does have instilled frenzy. Great. Can't mutate the legs, so again, there seem to be two mutations slash, uh, slash modifications per character. Back to it. So, so far, I think Armored Head, I like that. Regeneration Torso, 34 armor is nice. Accuracy minus eight, mm, not so much. Fire Resistance, great, because fire is absolutely monstrously bad. The Restoration I've already seen on others, uh, that is good, because I think it can recover lost body parts. And the Tentacle uh, Torso, yeah, now I do understand why we took so much damage. It only has 16 armor. Well. And the tentacle attack takes two action points and two or three willpower as well. I think a bit too much for what it uh, offers. You can always like have that uh, shocker in hand. Granted, it's not quite as effective, but it doesn't cost willpower and yeah, I don't know. Uh, so hasn't fully convinced me yet, but this year definitely convinces me a lot. Well, that's a fantastic armor. The minus eight accuracy is, but it'll be offset with a helmet. So uh, he's currently with a helmet at a salt plus 10. No, plus eight, but yeah, uh, with the new helmet, he's at plus 10. So that would be offset. Uh, down here, stomper legs, accuracy plus 12. Holy, just a little bit less speed, but that is, absolutely good performs attack five tire radius shocks everybody whoever fails uh, gets dazed okay and then we got stealth 30 percent performs melee kick dazes target hmm okay i mean look so far uh, the Sombalek seem to be a no-brainer for everyone who is fighting with a weapon. Uh, with a ranged weapon, that is. 12 accuracy is plenty, plenty for good, so I think I'll keep that in mind. Uh, then we do have the Regeneration Torso. That one seems great for everybody short of heavies, because... They would. Uh, they already have a great torso, and it would override their uh, their uh, ability to use jump jets. So the golem armor might be better here. Um, then the armored head. That's just all around good. 
Uh, the only downside is the accuracy. So I wouldn't put it onto someone who's a sniper, for instance. I wonder if for a sniper we're looking at a sin. I mean, minus eight accuracy isn't great, but a sniper with 34 armor and then down here, another 30 armor, regeneration, speed doesn't really matter that much. Um, yes, it's great to get uh, into cover sooner and climb, but the real speed comes from here, uh, in Still Frenzy. And that has covered most of your speed needs already. Um, I think pretty much everybody else might go for regeneration torso and stomper legs. Uh, the berserkers uh, definitely take the um, armored hat and likely the stomper legs. And if we combine if we combine him with a heavy then he would even have a great uh, ar um, armor. So just double checking what we do have. We do have a heavy. That's going to be, we already have heavy sniper. So this will be heavy berserker. And uh, the other berserker I would say likely Heavy Berserker as well. It's just a very good combination. And having Inspire plus the damage buff really works out well. So both of those would take uh, the would take the head for immunity and then the big armor. How much does his armor offer? I mean, yes, speed reduction, accuracy, very similar, but 34. It's essentially the same as the regeneration torso, but instead of regeneration, you're uh, having the jump jets, right? And I think you can argue that you want them for just mobility reasons. And, and on top of that, you can still mount the Furies. So technicians potentially, by the way, Kitsu would likely also not take the torso because we want to have those uh, arms, uh, those like the, the mount uh, on that middle section. We want to um, mount that. But everybody else would take legs and torso. Um, here... For her, hey, to do it. But Andrew Sanders, we'll take that for now. And Kitsu takes the assault. That's an interesting combination. Heavy legs. Salt body armor and a banshee helmet. <laughs> okay. Well, she was still hitting very well, so no complaints there. Good. Let's start with the manipulation. Do I, how do I feel about getting the stomp legs? The accuracy is great. We still have the same mobility, a little bit less mobility, but yeah, they also have the same minor speed. Uh, the accuracy here is plus 10, so that's good. But with a new helmet, accuracy would be lower, but we get the accuracy back from here with plus 12, so that's fine. And we got day's immunity, that's supreme, really like that. Uh, the middle uh, the middle section will still be the golem armor um, yeah the mounts are too important 
uh, just specifically with those uh, new Jericho missile launchers, I would want to keep them. So yeah, we're mutating. Uh, the legs, they look a little bit like elephant legs. And I want uh, to have the head mutation. Very good. Overall accuracy is still fine in around 0%. And for what Little Green is trying to do, we do have an efficient soldier. Uh, currently accuracy is at 0% here. Augmenting. No, 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 that was wrong. Uh, mutating. Created from uh, grants additional plus 5 strength. Oh, wow. Good, those two are going to be our front line. This is going to be our semi-alien team. So now to our actual combatants, Tyler Triggerfinger, currently at a plus six accuracy, could definitely be better. But this year, And this year, should give him all of uh, the accuracy that he needs, plus 10 accuracy, very good. And if we give him that, he's even at plus 14 accuracy. Plus overall, out of curiosity, 10 hit points, yep, 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 and a lot of strength. So, interestingly enough, no one is encumbered. Getting some more ammunition for our rocket launcher. Yeah, very, very nice. I like uh, the mutation so far. I mean, it's crazy that uh, that you're considering all of your operators like go uh, become either partly mechanical or crazy half aliens. But I suppose it's the swing of the game. So I'm not going to debate with it. We got a huge accuracy of 36% uh, here. After the change, we're still at the same level. Interestingly enough, she's so high because she's cautious. Okay, so that's that's where uh, the improvement is coming from. Gotcha. But yeah, I mean, look, the amount of armor that we're getting completely through the roof. I like this armor here, the Bion uh, Biontech armor. A uh, little bit of accuracy, a little bit of everything, really. And I'm wondering if I should just keep that armor onto Jim Haxer. and just put mounts on top of it. I don't know, the armor seems to be a unique one. Samnu. Really, really good armor. Or shall we give him the regeneration as well?
Hmm, good question. I mean, we can we could use that armor for other operatives, I guess. Literally everyone could use that armor and work well with it. Uh, so that's the advantage. Mutations, on the other hand, let me just double check. So I think this would work better for uh, for him. Yeah, better accuracy and specifically the armor ratings here are still slightly better. Fire resistance on top of it, regeneration, all of that stuff we didn't have. Just at the expense of one speed. I'm not even sure if... No, the very similar values. I like the helmet if we could build that set of armor. I think that that would uh, go a long way. It's, it's a good, really good set of armor. Um, good. Moving up. That's another Berserker Heavy. Just wait a second. Oh, we have three of them. Hmm. Hmm. There's nothing wrong with three uh, Berserker uh, Heavies. It's just a very solid front line. I guess this is a team of extremes, right? So you do have three snipers. One together with an assault. One that is a soul sniper at the moment. And one that is sniper heavy. So, yeah. Those would be the, the ranged characters, but... With uh, the Berserkers, Berserker plus X is a good uh, combination. I mean, theoretically, we could go Berserker plus Assault here. But he already has a rifle proficiency, so there's no... Uh, this, this would be a bit wasted. We already got shotgun proficiency and additional melee uh, damage on top of that. No, I think, look, I think the combinations for the team number two are fine. But that uh, then also means we're mutating him into yet another Berserker. Uh, what I am lacking, though, is a proper piece of armor. Berserker 1 gave t plus 2 speed, but it's really easy to overcome. I wonder, do we have a, anyone in a base that is having an Odin set left over? A new priest legs, I tell you what. I uh, don't like the legs too much. Let's give him some really solid Sam 2 uh, legs. Inappropriate Murphy should be very well protected. JP Pauly uh, keeps 
uh, this here is by the way our um, mechanical f uh, uh, faction so either we go with the armadillo legs or we're going with the propeller legs just so that he's fast and I think I wanted to go with the propeller legs to leap into the right position However, what we could also do is, since I think he is moderately accurate, actually. Thanks to the helmet, right? No. It's actually thanks to all of uh, his equipment. He's moderately accurate. I mean, what we could do, we could mutate him into those stomper legs. Uh, not needed really. Let's just wait. He's the last guy that needs an augmentation and then the prime team is done. And I think I've also found a solution for our armor. Because the sum to uh, battle take armor will just... will just go uh, on to Jim here for now. He looks like completely like an alien now, but that's fine. We still have the Sam to helmet left over. And for now, that's maybe something for kids who, well, we're, we might be even mutating her. Anyways, I'm jumping a bit in between the thought processes here. Jim is fully mutated, which brings us to Ain. Ain uh, does already have uh, the head, and I think a uh, more a more regenerative torso will give him quite a bit of uh, sustain. The other alternative is. I mean, look, with armor. The legs aren't really great. They really aren't. Uh, he's okay with the accuracy. But... I think we'll, we will need a proper torso for him just for the sustain again he now looks like he has skipped leg day more than once we're almost out of mutagen but this here is fully uh, mutated and here our body armor would he is a technician so we want oh hmm, yeah now we can't make him a technician well, I think that's fine one technician is enough we'll just make them a priest as well so that fits nicely which means we're leaving the head as is for now and we're just going for those stomper legs all around really good uh, legs and we have a ton of armor left over now since the second team is uh, firmly mutated now we got our uh, front line with jetpacks and and uh, really, uh, really, really solid uh, head and uh, leg enchantments. We got the back line with good accuracy, not perfect, but good accuracy, and just a hell lot of uh, defense. And then we get Ain, also good defense. The legs are a little bit, mm, but okay, the rest at least, yeah, has a lot of armor. And Kitsu here will get the mid-level armor and then the mount. 
and the second class here will be the um, priest so we'll also get a headdress once we have the time for that we could get more mutagens uh, if we wanted but i think we're fine which brings us nicely to here bastard uh, mm. now gets a full set of banshee armor Guy Aaron as well. We got proper golem, uh, golem B legs for Enkid the Doubter. Uh, just double checking. These guys here. Should get the armor first. Oh boy, so many teams. <sighs> As I mentioned, it is very fin uh, finicky here. Swamp legs and that, and we had this and swamp legs and good. So team number three, because they are going up uh, to fight in a colony. They will go in first. Good, Incy Vinci is still not the best accuracy. Benchy body armor and he has stupid legs that really wouldn't fit the rest. Double tap finally gets better equipment. Vanessa really just has very strange equipment all uh, all over. Phoenix Assault Legs. Um, I need Phoenix Assault Body Armor. Okay, so that's better body armor than she had beforehand. Craig gets even better armor. Justin has infiltrator armor, so that's good. That is good armor. Um, yeah, the heavy legs are unfortunately really bad for accuracy, but it is what it is. And Kyle has a full set of armor, so that's fine. Which means everything that is now left over can go finally to team number four. Benji Armor. Benji Legs. That's, by the way, a totally nice looking armor. Really appreciate the look. Uh, they did a fantastic job. Benji Body Armor. Benji Legs.
Um, Benchy body armor, benchy legs, and not the golden bee helmet. Oh my gosh. Good, and Carlos wouldn't hit anything anyway, so might as well. I'm thinking to give him a, a thicker, uh, thicker legs. What's the biggest uh, torso armor that we could have? Potentially this one here. Strange combination. Let's give him assault legs. That way his accuracy is not completely ruined. Accuracy is actually not too bad. Sixteen plus two uh, plus three accuracy. Yeah, that one is better. Okay, well, I think we now uh, we have it. The team is moderately well equipped, potentially good enough for an easy mission. Only thing that they don't have is, in, uh, is enough hit points, but that's fine. In terms of containments, we still have these. Should we harvest them for more material? Not yet. Good. So we wanted to fly up here. Those guys are almost done. We're flying back to the base. Oh yeah, we have plenty of missions. And that here would be the next mission. So I'll pause here because that's the end of today's episode. Lots and lots of uh, just logistics. Told you this game is super finicky. You need to move around equipment all the time. Uh, and we're not even in the end game. It, it feels like I'm still uh, trying to, uh, to, to rush for more equipment and and uh, and just try to save the world at so many time uh, at so many angles at the same time. So four teams might not be enough. Maybe we need to get more. Which reminds me, what are our potential recruits? Uh, that is a priest, an assault, and a berserker. I tell you what, um, born in the USA, recruit, yes. Born in the USA. Recruit. Yes. Born in the USA. Recruit. Yes. And the reason why I'm doing this is we currently do have Manticore 4, which is that newly found uh, team. So that plus two would be team number four. And we currently do have one, two, three, four, five, six. So almost an entire uh, new uh, squad granted deduct two uh, off of them. But we do have a few uh, waiting for us. Uh, the, these here in Frozen Circuit uh, belong to Manticore three, I think uh, was it. So that's essentially the team number three. Uh, Phoenix Point, she's completely 
an addition to what we do have or he's completely in addition so we're actually like one or two people short of uh, of a fifth a team and i figured if we do have so many uh, training facilities in uh, born in the usa might as well just hire them now and let them gain more levels so that i have a fifth team to deploy with the mutagens I think we found a really efficient way of giving most of them an armor and leg armor. So we're just looking for helmets and I can uh, produce them relatively uh, quickly. Uh, okay, not all of the classes, but for most of them, just the helmets. So that's actually good. And all we need uh, now are weapons. And if you look at the equipment, there are always a couple of weapons uh, lying around. None of them are really, really good, uh, but good enough for a team to, to grab and just do a couple of easy missions. Uh, better uh, to say if they were level four or five, right? And uh, they had uh, butogens and a couple of normal weapons. I think they could hold uh, their own on an easy defense mission for, for a haven. Um, so yeah, we're building up the foundation for that next team and since i have so much uh, food and seem to be unable to trade that away that's my way of just spending it and getting a new uh, team going thanks for watching guys um, if you want to, uh, speaking about food if you want to feed the channel something a like would be great uh, so think about that uh, hit the like button and see you in two days bye bye